This brief tutorial will show you how to use Edgecam's parallel lace cycle to rough out the uppermost of this solid model component. To create the perfect toolpath, I'll also need to create extra CAD geometry. I've created the parallel lace cycle and now I'm required to pick the target CAD geometry. In this case, I'll naturally pick the whole of the solid body. And as instructed, the toolpath flows over the model. But look at the depths of cut, they're too deep and also observe how the tool dives into the deep pocketed areas. This wouldn't be suitable. So let's try exchanging the original CAD geometry and we'll pick the top face. After all this is the area that we wish to machine. We'll go and simulate it using rapid result. Rapid result's a good idea when you've got a long tool pass but still it's no better, it's probably worse. What we need to see is the tool smoothly and gently undulating over the upper face, but that's the problem. We don't have individually the upper face. The optimum solution is to modify the model inside our designer. The replace face and remove face commands are perfect for this application. Simply pick and select the faces to be removed, and once modified, we would then return the model back to EdgeCam. Maybe you don't have access to a modeling system. Thus you need an alternative. An edge cam can do this using surfaces. I'll first of all create a layer and then from the feature tab I'm going to create geometry, specifically a surface. And I'll pick the top face. And what edge cam will do is it will create a trimmed surface of the ex exact same image as the top face. Now this trimmed surface on itself is no good to us we want an open surface so what we can further do is we can explode the trimmed surface. We select the trimmed surface and it explodes it into a B-spline surface and this is actually the shape that, that we wish to machine. So this resultant surface is now offered to our parallel A cycle. We simply repick the new entity which is our B-spline surface and now if we check the toolpath it will gently undulate up and over the shape and this is replicated on the solid model inside our simulator. It's not quite perfect though because we can see that we've still got stock left at the side of the part. So we can't change the toolpath but we can certainly change the CAD geometry, in other words we can stretch the B-spline surface and so we use this by using the extend command again found in the surfaces menu. We place a factor and then we select the edge of the B-spline surface and we do the same to the opposite side of the B-spline surface. You can see how it's clearly stretched and now we regenerate the toolpath and of course CAM must follow CAD so therefore we're now seeing the perfect toolpath. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching.